In this lesson, I'll show you how to transform an image using matrices. The question reads, consider the triangle represented by the matrix. Take a look at the triangle, and the points making up this triangle are set up in a matrix. And that matrix is called A, where the first row is all the x coordinates, and the second row corresponds to all the y coordinates. So we have a point at 0 and 0, 3 and 5, 4 and 2. They're asking, use matrix operation to move the triangle three units to the left and one unit down. Now to do this effectively, we will be subtracting three from the x coordinates from each x coordinate, and that's in row one, and subtract one from the y coordinates that are in row two. So technically we'll have the matrix A plus the matrix negative three, negative three, negative three, and negative one, negative one, and negative one. So let's rewrite this. Now that we've set this up, we can go ahead and combine these two matrices. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. 3 plus negative 3 is 0. 4 minus 3 is positive 1. Negative 1, positive 4, and positive 1. So this is our resultant matrix. And since this row corresponds to all the x coordinates and all the y coordinates for the second row, we can go ahead and plot these points. We have negative 3 and negative 1, negative 3 this way, negative 1 over here, 0 and positive 4, that's up here, and 1 and 1 is over here. Now that we've connected the points, this should be your completed triangle. Now what if they ask us to use the same matrix and they want us to enlarge the triangle to twice its original perimeter. What we will do is multiply this matrix by a scalar of a factor 2. So I'll take 2 times A, and to multiply a matrix by a scalar, you'll multiply each of the elements by 2. So 2 times 0 and 2 times 0 should give us 0 and 0. 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 10. For the last column, 8 and 4. 2 times 4 and 2 times 2. So let's go ahead and plot these points. We have 0 and 0, 6 and 10, and 8 and 4. Now what you see on your screen is the original triangle. Our new point will be 0 and 0. That overlaps the original. 6 and 10 is up here. And 8 and 4 is over here. Connecting these points, you should have a triangle that looks like this. As you can see, it's twice the original size. Finally, what if they ask us to multiply the matrix by another matrix B. So we have the matrix 1, 0, 0, negative 1 times 0, 3, 4, 0, 5, and 2. What I'll do is multiply this 1 by this 0 and this 0 by 0. 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0. That gives us our new element, which is 0. 1 times 3 plus 0 times 5, that's 3. 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 is 4. We just found all the x-coordinates. And the same thing for all the y-coordinates. 0 times 0 and negative 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 3, that's 0, plus negative 1 times 5, that's negative 5. And finally, 0 times 4 is 0, plus negative 2. Let's see what this will look like if we plot these points. Notice on your screen that we have the original triangle, our point is 0 and 0, 3 and negative 5, that's down here, and 4 and negative 2, positive 4 and negative 2. Now let's connect these. As you can see, a reflection occurred of the original triangle. And there you have it. That is how to transform an image using matrices.